Hello, my friends. This is Video Lancer. Recently, I have updated my package of seamless transitions for Premiere Pro up to version 3. In this video review, I will show you what new things we have added. Also, I will show you how to use a new version of transitions, because now some steps will differ from those from the video tutorial for the previous version. The first small change we have added is product renaming. Now the package, Seamless Transitions, is called Video Lancers Transitions. In a previous version of the package, all the categories were wrapped in one project file. That was the reason importing the package every time took quite a while. In the new version, we have decided to separate every category to an individual file. Now you can import only those categories of transitions that are required for the current project. Thus, importing and resaving of your project will be faster and file size will be less. We have added some new transition categories in this version. Thus, the total number of transitions is now more than 1,500 items. 3D Box is a set of transitions which we have imported from a similar package for After Effects. You can adjust color for each 3D box transition. To do this, just change the color for ramp and solid composite effects. Shape is a big collection of classical shape transitions, but in combination with the transform effect. We also have imported this category from the package for After Effects. Here you can change the color of the background. And here you can edit the text or change it to any image. VR Warp is a collection of transitions created from standard VR effects in Premiere Pro. Notice that VR effects require high GPU performance. That is why the VR Warp category of transitions probably won't run on weak computers. Next, I will show you how to use the new version of transitions. The project file for every category of transitions includes different media files, such as sound effects and video preview. When transitions are imported into your project, a missing media notification window can appear. So you don't have this trouble, open the file with transitions and just resave it. Now Premiere Pro will remember the media files path. For these presets to work correctly, Transition resolution must match the resolution of your project. Full HD resolution is used for these transitions by default. If your project has another resolution, for example 4K, you should do some simple steps. So import the transitions into your project. Right-click the sequence, change resolution, and select Sequence Settings. Here, set the resolution that complies with your project. In order not to change the resolution every time, you can save the file with certain resolutions like a preset. To do this, open Default File with Transitions. Then change the resolution and save this file with a new name. To preview the transition, open the folder with the Set and Switch to Icon view mode. When you move the cursor over the icon, the transition animation will be displayed. Now drag and drop the transition into your sequence, so that the cut is on the joint of two clips. If the layer with the stock preview is imported into your sequence instead of the transition, you should just change the settings on the timeline panel. First of all, Make sure that this switch is off. 
preset layers of transitions can take up to five tracks, so if necessary, add some more tracks into your sequence. Then select the preset on the project panel and make sure that all the tracks are switched on. The first track should be off, as it takes unnecessary preview layer in preset sequence. Now everything is working fine. That is all for today. I do hope this package of transitions will save you time for video making. If you have any troubles with our product, don't hesitate to contact us. We respond to all requests. Well, that was Video Lancer. See you later.